the topic for this video is again addition and subtraction but in this video we are going to deal with the flowchart for these two operations now this flowchart is basically divided into two parts subtraction and addition again we need two numbers a and b a and b to perform both the operations if you remember in the previous video we made a table for signed magnitude numbers right where the addition and subtraction operation actually depended on the sign of the two numbers so in this case to find whether subtraction will be performed or addition we need to check if the sign bit of the, the sign of the two numbers is same or different for that we are going to perform zor between the sign bit of the two numbers as and bs are the sign bit of the two numbers and what we are doing is performing zor the result of zor gate is given here that means if the sign of the two numbers is same the result of the zor gate will be 0 otherwise it will be 1 now if you see the previous video you can see for the addition operation when the sign of the two numbers were same that is the first and the fourth case the addition was performed that is for 0 0 or 1 1 where the value of zorg it will be 0 that is 0 addition is performed here the zorg it results in 0 that is the sign is same for add that is the first and the fourth case and addition will be performed where addition of a and b is performed here and the result is stored in ea and the value of e was transferred to avf and where avf was add overflow flip-flop in the second and the third case where the sign of the two numbers was different subtraction was performed so what we are doing here is in both the in these two cases where the sign bit is different zor gate results in one in one and it will going in the subtraction part similarly for the subtraction part if you remember when the signs were same subtraction was performed so in this case zero means signs are same and subtraction is being performed whereas in other case addition is being done coming to the subtraction part what we are doing is we are adding the two's complement of b to a and the result is being stored in e a okay now the value of e determines which number is greater if the value of e is one a is greater than or equal to b otherwise it is smaller than b now in the case where a is greater than or equal to b if it is greater than b that means if it is not zero the result is already found and it is already stored in a and as but in the other case it can be equal to b in that case the result will be zero because a minus b where a is equal to b it will be 0 sign bit will be set to 0 that is positive resulting in a positive 0 in the other case where a is smaller than b in this case we need to perform little operation that is here we need to find the two's complement of a because b minus a has to be done so what we are doing is basically finding the two's complement of a here Firstly, finding the complement and storing in A. Now, this A is basically A complement and adding 1 to it and storing it in A. So, this is how we find the 2's complement and the result is again stored in A and AS. So, this is the flowchart of addition and subtraction which shows how actually addition and subtraction of signed magnitude numbers is performed. I hope this video was useful to you. Thank you.